This growl got me right in the stomach. It was such a loud. I've never heard a growl that hit me in the stomach like that. Imagine my nails, my talons growing in order for them to grasp that this is my area. You're not messing with me. And they had to sprinkle the salt around to stop these horrible things from coming in. That's like a bogger. I just got the feeling it didn't want me there. But basically, a bogger is, is nasty. Talking of cryptids, I go to Alaska. That's one of my places. And I'm surrounded by cryptids, by, you know, the big hairy man. Interestingly, if you took it too far and you really concentrate it, Mm. Could you manifest into a dogman? Three, two, one. Hi, and welcome to Dogman TP Hunting. And if you're listening to this, it'll be on the Interdimensional Voyagers podcast. Um, today I've got Tonya Morrison. Uh, she's a sensitive and a uh, lovely person who's um, uh, had uh, experiences um, that uh, she'd like to have a chat about. Um, so I'll bring her on and um, let's have a word with Tonya. Here we go. Hiya. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, hello. Yeah. So, uh, right. Okay. Uh, I think the best thing to do is Tonya. Um, ah, we've got a secret, haven't we? We've got something in common. Yes, we do. We, we do. Yeah. And it, we, we, yeah, we didn't live very far away from each other, did we? No. When we were younger. No. Yeah. Not no. very far at all. <laughs> no. Um, because I was brought up in Greenford, uh, which is in Middlesex, uh, but near Wembley, near Ealing, uh acton well no not acton southall ealing wembley around that sort of area yeah and you're wembley yeah well i was greenford as well but i went to wembley yeah High. yeah 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 so uh and i think i knew your tobacconist your dad had yeah yeah oh beardy <laughs> beardy northerner <laughs> beardy <laughs> northerner <laughs> oh bless him isn't it small well, world isn't it it's such yeah. a small world yeah Honestly, Amazing, yeah. Isn't it? You never think in a million years. Never. No, no. You think because uh, you know, uh, like we were saying before this started, we saw, you said, "Oh, no one's really heard of Greenford." And they haven't. Like, no. I've never yet met anyone who's like. Whenever I said, "Oh yeah, I come from Greenford," no one said, "Oh, hang on, I, I know that place." <laughs> 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 when you said it, I was like, I was watching that, watching you. I thought it's Greenford. I know that place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, I bet you dear. thought, God, yeah, the, I know what his caliber's like. Yeah, yeah. I met that sort before, didn't there? Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah but it's, it's just, you know, it's one of those places that's just, where I've always lived in places like that, I think, that nobody's yeah. ever heard of, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I've, 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 I've had sort of like the same, you know, I've, I've moved around quite a bit, and I remember living in, um, uh, uh, what was it? a place called Aberdare in oh, Wales? The Wales, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lived in Aberdare near oh. um, Merthyr Tydfil. Merthyr yeah. Tydfil, but... don't go to Merthyr bloody. Merthyr, my, my ex next door neighbour's mum came from Merthyr Tydfil. So no, we did she? Oh yeah. Have you ever you've been to Merthyr, haven't you? Oh yeah, I've been to Merthyr. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just I like Merthyr, the moon, yeah. and then all of a sudden McDonald's is there. It's just, <laughs> if you're driving in, and you think. <laughs> One minute yeah. on the surface of the moon, next minute there's Matt Dunn, yeah. and then it just goes on, yeah. That's right, yeah. God, God, God I got a Murphy Tidville on the moon. That's yeah, it. It's <laughs> great. No, but it's, you know, it's just one of those really unusual places that just pops out of nowhere. Yeah, when I when I lived in Aberdeen, you know, what struck me the most was how small people were years ago because the front doors are titchy. Yeah, and here where I am, there's a village up the road and they're really, really small doors. They used to are be they? really short, yeah. They didn't have the yeah. food like we did, did they? Let's face it. The diet yeah. was completely different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although they do say that the best diet uh, ever that people have been on is a diet during the war. Yeah, you know, totally. With the, with, is that right? Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But it's all it was good very, food, you know? Home very grown. lean, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, homegrown, all good food. And then you get the, um, what do they call it, when they used to do the back, back I don't call it back, back, that sounds wrong, back door where they used to, do, you know, black market. I love yeah, the, the black market. You give me stuff. some whatever, and um, that's the way it's yeah. done, isn't it? 
yeah lovely yeah yeah no 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 a bit of black market stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's right that's what it made all... it work yeah probably yeah that's right yeah no i yeah. think it's right yeah it's it almost going back to barter isn't it but yeah. um, uh, it wouldn't you know. surprise me if in the future it comes back to that you know because people are so money orientated they've got a hell of a shop coming to them because i think something's going to happen i don't think money will be uh necessary well it won't be <laughs> you can have billions of dollars it's going to be worth anything is it well, money in itself, you're quite right. Yeah, money in itself, you know, the money we have is, 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 I mean, the more you print, the less it's worth. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, that's why these big country, you know, there's these big countries. That's why, like, England, America, they all have, um, at their heart, they have, uh, uh precious minerals like gold and silver. Yeah. And that's the mainstay, isn't it? Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think there's like kind of a lot of things, you know, they, they, Throughout history, people have fought over land because of mineral rights, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, look at Australia. Yeah. China's after yeah. Australia because it's got good minerals. It's just such a shame because the earth is so vital and they'll chop and chain, mm. you know, like the rainforest to get the things out for the phone. It's gone, oh, it's isn't awful. it, once? Yeah. It's awful, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, terrible, that's, really. That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like a, a, a double-edged sword. We can't live without like things like the phones and the computers, but then kind of what goes into them ruins it's killing our, the planet. Our, it's killing the planet, isn't it? Yeah, because they're our lungs. That, that, that is the air, air that we breathe, isn't it? That's a sad thing. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, um, when you think about it like that, you think, oh, I don't know. It's like years ago, I remember people saying, oh, you know, um, I, I, there was actually a warning. I remember seeing a warning on TV saying about mobile phones. Uh, don't uh, don't hold don't it too close to, to your it. ear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Don't listen. Don't hold it too close to your ear because of microwave energy. Yeah. It'll fry your brain. Yeah. We I still got that. It's, yeah, I know. Well, even did, we didn't have them, did we? This is what I try and tell my, you know, my kids. We didn't have those. No, we didn't have them. No, just absolutely, completely obsessed by them, and we never yeah. had that. You know, no. books were our thing, not technology. Well, that's it. Yeah, and it, it, I don't know. It's like kind of, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these, um, you know, these. Uh, I won't name names, but a lot of these, like weird sorts, you know, like nowadays. Weird. Kids, kids, kids are kind of like you know not allowed to run free in no. in woods and forests like we used to. Yeah, I remember going up Horsenden Hill and Horsenden Hill. If you don't know Greenford, Horsenden Hill was uh, between Wembley and 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 Greenford, massive big hills, story attached to it. I don't, I'm not going to say it because I don't know it fully, but I did find out about it, but I've forgotten it. Anyway, um, big hill. Uh, I wouldn't want to run up it. And it's um, <laughs> it's really hot, isn't it? And then, and then, and it, part of it's wooded, and the other half is like kind of. I went go karting with my mates, and they stuck me in a go kart because I was like the, the uh, uh, slightly porky one with the buck teeth, and that, I was always like this. Yeah, I was the crash test dummy, basically. Go on, stick fill in it, see if it works. And I went careering <gasps> off down the down Horsen and Hill. Um, you know, use the brake. You know, what brake? <laughs> Put your foot on the wheel. <laughs> and I was like, all right, you know, that's great. Yeah, tell me now. And I was like careering down there. I remember and when I got to the end, kind of like in slow motion, I kind of got there and, I, and the whole thing just tipped up and <laughs> done a 360 and tipped up. And I can remember getting up and my arms here were all burnt where they'd been hammering against the wheels as it was going down. Kind of slow. <laughs> yeah, burning my arm. Uh -huh. My smoke was coming off them. Skin was breaking off. No problem. I'm fine. Just slowing the I'm fine. Down. Didn't hurt at all. Yeah, but um, uh, yeah, horse and and but my mum never said anything about like be careful of you know strange people like that. Never it was did. always going to be the strange people would be um uh, uh flashes right Phil. Listen, when you go to the woods, right, make sure you're back before it gets dark and your dinner will be ready at 5 30, yeah. right? Or five, right? If it's not, then it's in the dog and the dog will be That's licking it. its lips. Yeah. And the dog's yeah, like, don't I'm come ready back. For five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing how dogs could tell the time back then, isn't it? Five o'clock. Isn't it? <laughs> Oh, they knew. They absolutely knew, didn't they? Yeah, they were there. He was. He did, my, uh, yeah, my mum's dog be there at the table. His little little plastic knife and fork ready. Little, ready. They have a little Thanks napkin back. in his collar. Oh, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> oh yeah. 
it's all very civilized, you know. It's all very yeah. civilized like that. But yeah, <laughs> that's some good good times. And Perryville, you remember going to Perryville yeah. up the yeah, road? Yeah, yeah. Little, little, little parade of shops up there. Yeah. And I can remember, oh my word, I can remember going up there. Back in the day, there was used to be a tobacconist up that way. Like a, 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 a but it sold sweets. It was back in like some of the kind of sell a lot of different stuff as well as fags and that. But he used to have a machine on the outside of his wall. There used yeah. to be a cigarette machine on the outside. Yeah. You could, we used to clobber together a bit of money. I think it was no more than about, I don't know, 40p or something, uh -huh. or 60p, something ridiculous. Between me and my mates, we used to clobber it together, jump on our choppers uh, or whatever we had, and then... Choppers, those were the days. <laughs> weren't they? Yeah, a six-speed yeah, chopper. Yeah. chopper. Yeah. yeah. Lucky bugger. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, oh, my yeah. word, God. Yeah, I, I, I had so much fun. I tell you, I remember, yeah. Blimey, Riley. Yeah, I remember coming off the chopper and nearly doing myself an injury on the gear lever. Your gear lever used to be in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, I, I nearly, I nearly, I, I, I nearly changed gender with it. I was like, "What the hell?" Yeah, it's not in a good place, right no. in the middle there. So as you come oh. off, you break heavy, you slide because yeah. the seat is really long. It's a long yeah. seat, yeah. and I slid right forward. And as I slid right forward, I just land, and I was like, "Oh dear, oh <laughs> yeah, I wasn't wasn't not doing that again." And um, <laughs> and they used to go up for the fag machines and used to yeah. put money in and then pull the drawer out and fags would come out. I oh, know. Amazing. Isn't different it? era, isn't it? Different yeah, era. Yeah. Don't keep saying that. They're making us old. I know. I know. So old. Do you know what? I went to see, uh, went to see, uh, uh, who was it? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Mark Olmond last night. Yeah. Uh, he was at the Coliseum. Anyway, went there and, and, and uh, the audience was all our age. I know. It was all over, and, and you can hear them whispering, and all they're talking about is hip replacements, <laughs> knee replacements. <laughs> it's bad though, because you never think you're going to be like that, though, do you? I know. Are you kidding? Just... God, they're old, and they're like 25. Yeah. <laughs> like, there you go. Come sit next to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, a shame, uh, isn't it? It's terrible. Anyway, what were we here age for? Comes wisdom. We're here to talk oh, yeah, about yeah. things. Oh yeah, yeah, strange. wisdom. Yeah, we, f we forgot wisdom. about bef wisdom. We forgot about that. Yeah, there's not a lot there. There's not. There's not a lot of wisdom. Not with not with me. No, not no. an awful you lot. Don't. Really. You put yourself down. Slap. No. Naughty <laughs> 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 Anyway, well, we're, oh yeah, we were on about the strange, yes. weren't we? And the yes. odd, right? Okay, yes. all right, and all right, I've got to put a serious face on now. Hang yeah, on. put right. a serious face on. Come yeah. on, back stop to making it. me laugh. Stop making me stop laugh. Stop it. Behave. Well, I'm having a slurp of tea. Yeah. Um. Okay, right, Tonya. Uh, all right, all right. Just let that. Let this let breathe. Let the tea go down. Breathe. Breathe. It's all about the breath. breathe. In through the nose, like through the mouth. Okay, all right, no pressure. <laughs> no, no pressure. pressure. Right, all right. Now start at the beginning and uh, and don't forget every detail. Go. Right. <laughs> Which one do you want? Do you want the cryptid weird thing first or do you want oh, to talk what, about? When 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 did it right, we knew where you, you you kind of like your stomping ground. We knew where you grew up. Mm -hmm. So let's start with what was um uh one of your first I can tell you that. Straight strange away. things yeah go for that. projected when i was five years old ish i'm not sure about the age but astrally projected i can remember floating out of my body and floating down the stairs really? my, um, i can remember being in a room in a house and all the wallpaper was coming off it like all the things on the wallpaper and i asked my mum about it not so long back actually because we lived in a place called Alden lane in Bish bishop Auckland up north because my dad was from up north Okay. Um, it was a massive house at the time because all the other houses looked like Coronation Street. And we had this big house with a corner block. <clears throat> and the wall, I can remember the wallpaper. I can remember things coming off the wallpaper. But mum couldn't remember that. She can remember vaguely. I think once I start pressing it, she sort of comes to it. But um, it was many years ago. But yeah, definitely astrally, astrally projecting. And I would have been at that house, actually. So I think okay. it's a lot to do with the house. Is it, I, yeah. Can you remember? Uh, the, when you astral astrally projected, um, 
Is it something that you consciously, it just happened to it you? Just was happened. it, was it, just like, was there any, it. was there yeah. any portent? Was there anything before it happened that you, no, you I know you were young. Of. Yeah, I was I very, you very young. young. Very, very young. But I'll tell you what happened. I went to, um, we lived in Colville then. And I can mm. remember where the shopping parade is, there's a, a stone. Like my friend will say this because she she still lives up there. And uh, there was a stone, a massive stone talking about stones. And I can remember sitting on the stone with this other lad and telling him, and we're only very young, this was junior school. And uh, he said he, it happened to him because I just couldn't ever, never, ever forgotten it, ever. And I forget everything. I don't know where I live half the time unless I look at my name badge, my address on it. But I'll never, ever forget that in a million years. Okay, so you so, right, so five years old, you astrally projected, and yeah. when you did that, you went into this other room or your neighbor's house. No, I floated out of myself along the yeah. corridor and down the stairs. That's as much as I remember. Okay, did you see any beings? No, because a no, lot of people say, because a lot of a lot, I'll tell you what I ask because a lot of people like, um, you know, that uh, have um, uh, encounters with UFOs and aliens mm -hmm. say that they, yeah. Uh, Taken, you know. No, I, I, um, to be honest, I probably could tell you a lot about that, but that's another story. I'm not doing it. On <laughs> but no, okay, you know, there's a lot of that, but there's a lot of everything. But I think what's sensitive, I think you just pick up on it, everything. Okay, you know, okay. It, but it doesn't happen all the time. A lot of sensitive. So yeah, I can read. I can do this for you. Read your tarot. Do this. La 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 la. Every, you can't all the time. Sometimes I think when you are in a bad situation, you're not feeling 100%, you don't, you, they take it back because I just don't think it's easy to handle. It's not a gift that's easy to handle. Okay, right. And so the actual projection, you you, you can't do it. You, 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 could you do it now, do you think? I could if I concentrated enough, yeah. You could if you concentrated yeah. yourself, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is just me asking because it's me. Um, You know when you ast astrally project? Mm -hmm. can you uh um is it a type of thing where uh if you go into like next door neighbors i presume yeah you could do i mean if you if you did it properly and you did it when i would when i did it i was very young remember so i i didn't i didn't touch the floor this is the thing i floated along the corridor went upright and floated down the stairs so to me i can't remember any other than that but if i was to do it um, I watched a film once. There was a film about two kids that did it, and this always put me off a little bit because they had to be back in their body before they were woken up. Because <laughs> if they right. if they woke them up before they got back in their body, it was really not good. So yeah. in many respects, you know what we're like. We watch these films, and it put you know, and it put yeah. me off a little bit to be honest. Because I thought, oh my god, what if you know? But I can't. I could. Yeah, you could. In theory, if you were trained yeah. yourself that much, you could go there. Yeah, easily. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I, I, I'm personally just thinking I, I would be quite worried about astrally projecting and then going into the neighbours and, and ending up maybe in a toilet when they're like having a <laughs> from pit. No, but you've got to think of these things, haven't you? Well, you do. What you about do if that happens? What about if I go in there and they're, they're having a from tit, you know, and I'm like kind of just floating above them? It wouldn't be the best, would it? It would, but they wouldn't see you, though, would they? Because they're not no, but I, I, there's, there's, you know. there's, cer there's certain <laughs> things that you know, I shouldn't see. You haven't no. stayed in our neighbour. No, you wouldn't. Stay in our <laughs> no, honestly, it's no. not like that. You'd be a lot of it. It is actually you'd go where you wanted to go in the world. I think it's like okay. meditation, isn't it? When you meditate, and they say, "Think of somewhere to go." Well, you know, I go. Funnily enough. talking of cryptids i go to alaska that's one of my places and i'm surrounded by cryptids by you know the big hairy man uh, so, right okay start at the beginning on this one what happens if i go because um if, so i've been talking to somebody and they said about um meditation and if it mm. to me i can meditate i've got a specific place i go it's like if you're scared or, or whatever you need to do, calm your mind, whatever it is, there's always a place that we know is safe. Um, and I know where mine is, but this is somewhere else. This is Alaska. I go to Alaska in a field. And I know it's Alaska, and I am surrounded by the hairy man. They're okay. There. Yeah. And we're talking Bigfoot hairy man? Yeah. As in Woodwows type? Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, but this and, is in and... a meditation, though, this is. This is not in, like... I've got it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. So, so your mind actually goes. Uh, when you're yeah. there, can you communicate with them? Yeah. 
have you have you communicated with them no i've had a dream about one though here at home a big white one he was proving himself that he was there, but I was so fearful of my daughter because she was sleeping on the sofa with me downstairs, which generally she didn't do. I, I don't know why she was that day, that night. And uh, I was more, I was being quite protective towards her, but he was here. It's massive, great big white one. Yeah. So in your, it, it, during your meditation, you're saying that a, a it, that you saw the, a, a, a large, um, let's call it. Uh, uh, well, they're called yetis, aren't they? Over. Uh, no, in, in no, 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 no. This was this was actually a dream that I was having, not necessarily a meditation. I was okay. I was sleeping downstairs because I don't sleep upstairs. So I'm disabled. I can't get up the stairs. So I haven't got a okay. bed. So I okay. was downstairs, and my daughter was downstairs, and I was having a dream about. And it wasn't a um, yeti because they have seen white ones, haven't they? If you look up on the yeah. uh, in America, yeah. they've seen white ones. It was definitely a white one, and he was right. massive. And he came in to the in my dream, came into the room, but I was very much on guard because that's my daughter, and you're not going to hurt. You know, it's just automatic as a mother. So I was there, <laughs> and uh, I think it, he went then. I think it just made him go because obviously I wasn't accepting. But it wasn't that I wasn't well, accepting; I was just protecting my child. So I got you. I got you. Yeah. But I've got you. But if you had a dream mm. that you saw a being like that. Mm. And you knew it was a dream at the time, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Right. But it wasn't a dream. It was them. Because they can come in your dreams, you know. Right. But can <laughs> they, can they, they would have to, they would have to manipulate your body for you to do something to hurt anyone else though. Oh no, it wouldn't be working through. You know. No, it's just, he, he was just, he was there. I sensed it there in my dream, but the dream was okay. so real. That he was, uh, yeah, and right, I felt okay. very protected towards my daughter. So, okay, he probably got you. said, Come in and have a cup of tea, you know. He probably yeah. would have felt like that, but I'm, unfortunately, I'm just 110% protective. So, there was there. I got you, away, I got you, you know? I got you. Okay, okay. And, and you, and, and so, uh, all right. And then your safe place is in Alaska. That's where your safe one place off, is. Yeah, one of. Where's the other one? Do you mind me asking? Um, it's not a, it's not a place that anybody knows. It's just my safe place. Oh, okay. It's just the place you. I've created in my mind that if I was in a situation, though it'd have to be really, really scary because I don't fear a hell of a lot, but if I was in a real fearful situation, I'd just drop into it and then I'd be there. But Alaska's okay. lovely. Alaska's got a different feel. It's a big meadow. I don't mind saying it because I don't have to hide that. You know, some people probably go, oh, no, don't say that. But, you know, it just feels yeah. right. I've, I've been, what, I, do you know, have you heard of, I can't think what his second name is. Um, his first name's Fred. He is from Alaska. And he does a lot of, he talks about big, um, well, Bigfoot or whatever you want to call it, Sasquatch. And yeah. they, um, he's a tribal member. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, she's back. Dropped out. Strange. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. I think you dropped out there. That's okay. We're back. We're back. We're back. That's okay. Yeah, yeah okay. he, that's fine. He, he, he said they're not all, you know, they're not good, but he's a tribal member and that's, they've been raised not to think that, you know, that that's what their belief is that they're not good and they kill people and because there's a lot of missing people in Alaska, isn't there? There is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of missing people over here as well. Yes. Uh, over the By water, a lot of them. Have you noticed yeah. that, they say? Yes, I know. Mm. By water, yeah. Mm. Okay. So, um, right. Uh, so we know your safe place, Alaska. That's fine. Um, have you ever been over there, Alaska? No. Right. So no. what can I just out just a real quick one? So you know, shut up if you want. But just out of interest, why do you think you chose Alaska? I love Alaska. Was it, so... I love oh, Scotland. Right. I love Scotland. I've never been, but I was. Uh, if you're going really deep, I was there in a former life. But yeah, who knows? I okay. Been in Alaska in a former life. Definitely Got you. a pick okay. in form of life. I know that much. Were you a pick? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I loved them. I met a pick. I was in uh, Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, I didn't go in the castle because you got to pay quite a lot to get in the castle. I thought, oh, well, the time was against us, really. But um, anyway, uh, I went to this true story. Absolutely, absolutely true. I'm not kidding. Uh, as you come from the main gate down to down a like kind of walkway, um, there's a pub on the right hand side in Edinburgh, and um, uh, uh, I went in there to have a Jimmy Riddle, and um, 
<laughs> his guy uh -huh. was like all dressed up as a pick. He had the make believe like sword. Yeah. He had the blue paint, blue, yeah, blue, blue paint all over paint. him, long yeah, hair, tattoos, you know. Yeah. And he was as drunk as a skunk. And he said to me, he said to me outside that at the time, uh, I had a habit of dyeing my beard. So my beard, I think, was yellow Billy then. Connelly. My hair was yellow. <laughs> yeah. And, and so he must have thought in his drunken state, I was a fellow pick. <laughs> and um, uh, uh, he was like, all oh, right. Uh, how you doing? I was like, I'm, I'm not bad, mate. I just had a, 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 a wee in there. He said, Oh, he said, it's a good place for me. Yeah, he said, He said, You haven't seen any kids? Have you? Yeah, I'm like, No, he said, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, They're bad for business. He said, They come up and just start throwing things at me. He said, <laughs> Seriously, honestly, I kid you not. Yeah, and he went on for this about 15 minutes. Really drunk, he was, but yeah, nice guy, nice guy. Yeah, yeah if he's watching, nice stuff. Yeah, yeah, don't know if you remember me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no pick for light there. Saw that the good movie, our uh, Legion was it the 900 or something, or the Ninth Legion, Ninth Legion, uh. where uh, yeah, that famous true story, wasn't it? But where they, yeah, it was the Ninth Legion that uh, went up. Uh, past Hadrian's Wall up into right into Scotland, North Scotland, and um, uh, they uh, created their own mini wall, not Hadrian's Wall, another mini wall further up north. Uh, visited it, and um, uh, uh, they're the ones that were picked off, they were but they were, they were kind of like, um, uh, uh, what's the word when they kind of like get um, uh. Uh, oof, uh, jumped upon by the picks. Oh, oh, I've got the word yeah, now. they send them first, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got jumped you know. upon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Happy, all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but I was done half an hour, didn't I? All right. I'll tell you what. Let's get back to it. Um, right, get back to it. Uh, I'm getting darker okay. And darker. Right. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Now we've got a lot of people. I, I'm I'm primarily paranormal, but cryptid channel. So yeah. What do you know of the cryptid known as Dogman? Right, let me tell you about this then. I've told mm. Deb, so Deb knows. I was outside in my garden, um, smoking as I was then, but I've quit. I'm a good girl. And I was out, and it was really dark, and all of a sudden I heard this growl. Now, we have got dogs around here, so I used to have a dog, so I know what a dog's growl. This growl got me right in the stomach. It was such a loud, I've never heard a growl that hit me in the stomach like that. Not on fact, all the family thinks I'm nuts, but I know for a fact I heard it and I know what it felt like and I know exactly what it was. I charged back in the house because I was quite frightened at the time. So I told Deb about it and, she, and I know that Deb's had her own situations with things like that. So, she, you know, on about that. Anyway, a while later, I thought, no, I'm not putting up with this. No way am I put. Why should I be fearful not to go and sit outside? Because I won't go outside for ages at night. I'd say, right, seven o'clock's the cutoff time. It's just starting to get dark, whatever it was I'm going in. Anyway, in the end, I thought, no, I'm not putting up. So I started going out at night then. And um, I knew there were at the fence at the end. I could sense them there. I mm. think I may have upset the female. I don't know because I know there's a couple of them there. And um, I could sense their energy. I know when they're around. And um, they were, they're aggressive, but I, my house is protected because I have to do that anyway. Um, but they wouldn't come in. But they were there waiting at the other side of the fence. Okay, right. Um, have you got neighbours? Yeah. But okay, the, they... the back of us, it's like a long garden, like, you know, those 100-foot gardens you get. Thankfully, yeah. I wanted one when I moved in. Thankfully, I never got it because I wouldn't have managed it. Um, but that behind, behind, directly behind mine is a 100-foot garden that somebody else is. And then I think then it's another one. And then they've created a field at the back because not everybody could handle 100-foot gardens. So, and right. then it's woodland. So we've got woodland looking all the way around as well. It's quite a woody area. So that's where they okay. are okay right um has any of your uh, uh, i've got to ask has any of your neighbors uh, no. ever spoken to you about it no never they they all think i'm as nutty as a fruit bat to be fair but you know they're not into this thing i am and i've and i wouldn't just say it was that if it wasn't that but it, i've never ever you know I've got had a dog um everybody's got dogs around here you can hear the dogs and i can tell each different dog by their bark yeah. Um, and, but this this was not this wasn't even a bark it was a growl and it was so aggressive I could feel it in my stomach and for me okay. to be scared of it it had to be big because I generally don't fear much 
but it was a it was a horrible it was in a very like you get in now sort of growl <laughs> and that's what i did because it freaked okay. me out okay so you um right okay so you went outside about um it, it was it was after dark yeah 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 okay you went outside to have a fag yeah right and when you're outside you um was there is there a, a traffic noise or any other noise general, there is a very fast road at the other side of the you know opposite the front but at night time uh -huh. it's not at all it goes dead at night time so you okay. could be out there and not hear it and then you know it starts again in the morning so it's not a, a road that's much used past a certain time okay right and you enjoying having your fag and then uh, you heard this growling and to you it sounded as if it was coming from the end of the garden by the fences it, it sounded as though it was next to me it was that bloody loud it was you know it was it had thrown you know they when you hear people talking about dogma and things like that it, it's yeah. an, I, you know and i understand what they mean you can't it's so hard to describe but you can feel it in your stomach this is how okay. loud it was to me, you know, whether whether somebody could be stood next to me and heard it. I don't know how that works, you know, to how they project themselves. But that's what I heard. And it was that loud. I could feel it in my stomach. And I've heard okay. dogs barking and growling. You know, I've had a dog. We've always had a dog generally. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. as I say, there's loads. But this wasn't this wasn't a dog. This was entirely something different. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 I must admit, I know where you're coming from. I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've felt the same thing. I've yeah. felt the same thing. Um, it is when people talk of infrasounds, it's like yeah. that's so deep. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's almost like when you go, remember the old discos you used to go to? Um, uh, when you go to a disco and you're right up close to the bass, it used to be yeah. Sort of yeah. really, yeah, like that, like that, and that. Yeah. It's, it's very vibrational. It's like, oh, um, I how many times did you hear it? I mean, only you know, once. It, only, only the once, once at one time. Yeah. And that was enough to put you off from going yeah. outside. I won't go outside for ages. Okay, so I'm not going out. I'm going to make sure I'm back in. My door's like, <laughs> but, you know, I'm not. I thought I'm not. I just couldn't do it. It was so scary. It was just okay. was really frightening because, I mean, I've heard, uh, you know, I hear a lot. I, you know, that's why I'm like that. Yeah. I pick up yeah. things. But this was something else. And it was, and I could just get the vibe. It wasn't happy. I don't know. Maybe it was hunting. I just don't know. But I, that's what I got. I, okay. I'm glad I was at my house. I wouldn't have wanted to be outside then. Okay. Okay. Uh, and um, was it summertime, winter time? Um, I'm trying to think where it was at the time now. I think Roughly? It, um, I think it was probably autumnal, I would have thought. Probably autumnal. around about autumn, okay. you know, probably end of summer, autumn time. Okay. All right then. I just wondered, but you know, if it was summertime, a lot of people have their windows open. Yeah. And no, um, I, think, I, I, I don't think it, I think you were heading into autumn. I think. I mean, there's okay. the the people at the back of me at the bottom, where I presume it's where they were. Uh, they've got like a tree um, that's lit up. They've uplighted it. You know, how they do with a green or whatever light. Yeah. I, I used to I used to sit out a lot. You know, I don't I don't so much now, but I did then, and uh, because obviously I don't need to. I'm not smoking, but. Um, the 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 tree was up lit, um, yeah. but I only noticed that afterwards. I didn't notice it during that mm. time because I just couldn't concentrate on anything. I needed to get back in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I I I, I used to smoke, and now I give uh, I started vaping. Yeah, yeah. Um, find it better. I do find it better. Um, uh, but it's not great. Not recommended for anyone. No, um, not you know, <laughs> Uh, best thing is nothing really yeah you know, it is but, it's hard um, it's hard sometimes it, it is very be, hard you know, it's mm, not easy it but um no, you know. it is it is very hard um mm. it's very 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 interesting very very interesting um and it gave you the impression that it wasn't happy oh it definitely wasn't happy i mean after that as i say um after that happened i tried to I'd got back out there because I'd spoken to Deb a couple of times and she slowly but surely went to, down her garden towards the area where she, I didn't, I tended to stay by the, I just liked an area at the back door. That's where I like to sit. That was my spot. I mean, I'd have gone down if I absolutely had to, but I didn't like going down because where I live, it's incredibly dark at night. It's, yeah. It could almost be, if it wasn't for people having these blooming garden lights and such like, could be one of those dark spots because it is very, very dark. Um, mm. So it, it it just felt darker than dark. You know, when you're in a place and it feels darker than dark, it was yeah. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
No, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. It's like the shadow. <laughs> yeah, the I know exactly. Even darker than... <laughs> yeah, that's it. There is no, the shadow is just like kind of, there's not enough light to cast a shadow, if you like. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. kind of, it, it's it's sort of very, yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, okay, right. Um, when you had that, when you just, just, one last thing when you when you had that um event happen mm. how were you in yourself before the event um uh just like your normal self were yeah. you uh the, were no, you was, depressed were you I don't happy think I was were going you... through anything you know we all have ups and downs i've gone through massive ups and downs i'm not gonna lie yeah um, but that i was i was just perfectly just myself it was hard because i think i'd obviously finished work by then I've had to yeah. retire, and that's a big thing for me because I'm. We come from a working family, um, yeah. and I started smoking, which isn't brilliant because I'd given up a long time ago and started again for the stress of it all. But I wasn't what I classed as so stressed that this come on because of that. I just was the fact that I was outside. I wouldn't have heard it. I don't think, or possibly would I? I don't know, but I don't think I'd have heard it unless I was outside. I just got the feeling it didn't want me there. Okay. And I think it but... probably knew that I could tune into it more than likely. I would imagine. Okay. How long were you living in that house before you experienced that? Oh, I've been living here for about 16 years, 15 years. Not long then. Okay. <laughs> no, just a couple. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Yeah. No, they're just, uh, unless it was passing. They are here though. They come and go. I they come and go. Afterwards. I sensed them after that event. And that by that okay. time, I thought, no, I am not going to be frightened out of my chuffing garden. I'm going out there. So I went out and I sat out there and they were there. They were not happy, but I thought you'd have to back down because I am not being frightened out of my garden. And I sensed there was a female there and she wasn't very happy. So whether he goes first, I really don't know. But I knew they were there. I've, I've sensed them a few times. Mm, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. You know, whether the thing is, form, I don't know. Yeah. You know, you 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 have to realise that um, with these with these entities that, uh, especially with a dogman, uh, you know, type three, which is mm. the bipedal large predator type, you know, yeah. long claws, big yeah, teeth, you know, the yeah. they've um, uh, if it was intent on 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 having you, you know, on getting you, yeah, it would get you, it would get yeah. you, yeah. It would, okay. but it, it would have to it, be incredibly blooming knocked because I can be incredibly knocked back. I've come to yeah, in life now. It's taken but, me 50 odd years. But, I wouldn't be frightened by it. And I know that sounds no, really stupid, yeah. but I really seriously wouldn't. <laughs> no. When you've been through a fair whack, you know, things mm. like that, it, it doesn't bother me, you know, at all. Yeah. Yeah, no, what, what I'm saying is these, these, no, what I'm getting at really is that, um, with with anyone, it doesn't matter if it's a a a a a the biggest guy in the world walking through the you know walking through the woods and meets one, it's not going to win against this. This thing is custom made for one thing and one thing yeah, only. Yeah. Um. Uh. You know, nothing is going to stop it. A fence won't stop it. So no, that's what you no. got to tell yourself. You got to say yeah. to yourself. And in a way, it sounds as if uh um, I don't want anyone to be scared about it because with these things they, they don't like that. <laughs> yeah they 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 like people to be scared yeah, yeah that's what yeah they do yeah, they do thrive on that yeah um for some reason uh the, the 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 negative emotions the feeling of fear is something that they do uh relish they are frightened of another thing i'm not a a, a big bible basher but also the word of god and jesus really mm. does work um yeah uh but Works on a lot um, of levels though phil Works yeah on a lot of levels yeah it does yeah mm. um and the thing that you got to tell yourself is look you know at the end of the day there's a line and that line they won't cross they won't cross even though they they scare and they they that impending oh my god look, i can hear it and you know oh, it's a it's a dog man I've been close to them, but I say, have you seen one? Yeah, yeah, I've seen a dog man, and um, I've seen three of them. Really, I've seen a type one by a tree, which I've videoed. Uh, pointy ears, um, uh, looks like just looks like a big black dog, but it was very, very black. 
like like it sucked the light, the light in, in around yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, very, very black. Mm. And that was just staring at us uh, in a wood nearby, funny enough. I was taking the uh, two little Jack Russell Terriers I got, taking them for a trot, normal trot, and uh, daylight, not night time. Um, I've seen the Type 2, which was uh, in a forest, um, and uh, saw this makeshift, uh, had a pallet up against it. It's like a makeshift like TV thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little shack with a pallet up against it. I thought it was a homeless guy. That's what I thought. I've honestly thought it was a homeless guy. I thought, yeah, oh, hello. Poor <laughs> yeah, I thought, oh, poor old sod. You know, oh, uh, how lucky am I? You know, even, yeah. even, you know, kind of like out here, you know, soaking wet in the woods. And poor old sod. And I, I, I went over. But luckily, the dogs went a bit crazy. Yeah, I'm going to say, your Jack Jackies would have sorted that problem out. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so lucky with the dogs. Honestly, and my word of advice, always trust your dog. Yeah, always. The dog That's knows. Why they don't like dogs around. Why do you think Why do you think dogmen and, and Sasquatch don't like um, dogs? Yeah, yeah, they know exactly. They're the, they're the informer because not all of us, but a lot of mm. humans walk on this planet blind. They don't see anything at all, do they? You know, yeah, no, they no, don't use no. their gut instinct. Yeah. Um, yeah you were just curious. Exactly. I think you've got a very curious mind. But that was a hunting blind, as it happens. It wasn't a, a TP. Yeah. And yeah. it's no, 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 it wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't, a, yeah, it wasn't a TP. Uh, and uh, but because of the palette, and I thought, oh, you know, that's, that's odd, you know. Um, uh, but evidently, a dogman or, or a type two, anyway, which they're flatter faced, they look more like right. a gorilla. If you like, they're thick, really thick, stocky things. Yeah. Um, uh, whereas a dog man type three, quadrupedal one, has got their chiseled, uh, yeah, triangle shaped muscular. body, yeah. muscular, strong, yeah. long muzzle. Um, but uh, yeah, so I uh, saw that inside, and I've got that on video as well. I saw that moving inside and blinking. It was just looking at me. Do as you think I it past. was a dog man, or would you say it, it might, it, would you think it was totally a dog man, or could it have been? Well, um, I think it's misconstrued, you know, yeah, Tonya. Yeah, I think crazy, it's yeah. a lot. You know, you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, uh, in Canic Trace, Pigman." Yes. And this yeah. whole story of Pigman, yeah. where it was um, uh, one of the stories, is that years and years ago, uh, a woman was kidnapped and inseminated, and blah 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 blah, and she gave birth to this half man, half pig creature. Um, this <laughs> that, that came out. Uh, but um, I don't think so. I think what they were actually seeing is a type two in yeah. Calic Chase. Yeah. The have flatter you been to Calic Chase? The... Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. I I've been there uh, twice Chase. now. Yeah, I love it's got it. A very funny vibe to it, though. Hasn't it just? Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. One place I'd like to go, there's a place particularly I'd like to go in Canic itself. I met up with a friend of mine up there and he showed me around, you know, Canic Chase. And, um, uh, um, uh, Stuart, if you're watching from Paranormal Walks, hello. Um, hello. And um, uh, lovely guy, lovely guy. And he knows the place back when he's always going in there camp. He's so brave. He always goes in there camping. And oh, um, no. yeah, <laughs> I know. Honestly, I mean, I camped no. there for two nights and that was enough for me. This guy goes all the while. He's like, oh, yeah. No, uh, well. he, he knows he's safe, though. See, so you either go with that. They're winning every time we don't, but I'm just not a massive fan of camping. No, no. Um, I, I, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the thing that gets me, I, I don't mind the camping part. I was hoping to go to uh camp, not very far away, to a special little pond, uh, near here, which has got a lot of stuff going on to it. But because I'm still waiting on a hip replacement, and if you know anyone who's got a hip and wants to, uh, maybe... do you want to jump on knees in there? <laughs> Yeah, I'll go with you. If, if someone wants to donate their hip, I'll be more I'll than happy to take it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've got good hips, I'll have one of yours. You know, I like mine. <laughs> yeah, I've reached that stage where I'm not fussy anymore. You know, <laughs> um, so yeah, so you know, that combined with like kind of yeah. you know, the crones and everything else. So, but once the hip's done, boom, I can I'm a bit more able to go out on longer hikes. I can do yeah. the short ones now, but that's that's, that's fine. Um, 
but yeah, I think um, yeah, Cannon Chase is a very special place. Uh, Epping Woods is very special as well. Uh, Epping Forest, sorry, not I've Epping Woods. Epping. I don't. I, I might have been, but I don't think I've been to Epping. Hmm. Because um, where were you? Park. Yeah, Battersea. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, Battersea I used to Park. Live in Battersea. Yeah. 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 Uh, old Battersea Park. Yeah. As power station is a shopping centre now. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, yeah, it's an I've amazing place. You know. Mm. Yeah, it's not an easy amazing. place, you know, is it? It's not an easy place to live because it's constant all the time. I won't oh, be able yeah, to live there yeah. now, but there's still things no. that go on there. Now, in there, I mean, if you yeah. listen, I, I listen to a lot. I listen to a lot of, of all of this because it fascinates me anyway. And I've heard people saying they live in the middle of bloody, I don't know, up north somewhere, and they saw this thing walking. And and just earlier, I uh, I don't know what it was because I'm always on and off listening. And somebody was saying, you know, how come these things are in? Like suburbia, you know, why yeah. are they in suburbia? Uh, yeah, you know, you know, because the people are there and they like to exactly, be here. <laughs> they love exactly. it exactly, exactly. Tony, you the hit same. the nail on the head. The yeah, the I, same. I've got, um, I often said to people in the past, you don't have to go out hiking for an hour and a half, two hours no. in the middle of a forest to find these things. No. I have seen them, uh, round here in local town woods yeah i've seen evidence of them yeah um uh, in local town woods now i'm not saying like with the teepees that they're all down to the dog no, man no, or like they're not no. but i do know the difference and sometimes you find like si uh, these signals as well these signs yeah, yeah. like the y's and the x's yeah for no reason at all but these we're talking local town woods yeah no more than well, put it this way, if I go walking from here where I am, uh, 15 minutes, I go through a housing estate and I'm in the wood. And I know there is one in there. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I went in there one evening, one night, night time. And I caught something. In my, once again, in my peripheral vision, I turned the camera and this thing just went massive, just went streaking through the wood so quick. It was almost like it was on roller skates. It was just a linear motion, just going straight through. And it wasn't anyone on roller skates, especially no. not the same. It was a proper thing, just huge it was. Yeah. Um, and that's in a town wood. Man, you can imagine, like, you say about kids and that, you know, we went out playing and such like, well, kids don't tend to do that much now anyway. Then you no. had lockdown and nobody went out, did they? No. So these things not. then, uh, and then they 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 can't cope with not knowing because it's like um it's like spirit and all sorts. They like to feed. It's almost like the fear and the negativity is a fit food to them sometimes. Because when you hear these stories, yes, people go missing all the time, don't they? But we don't yeah. know that they necessarily take them. How do we not know that their food that they they like monsters inc you know how do we not know that the food that they have is the fear that we give out and they feed off that we don't know that. yeah no i agree i agree you know? i think um yeah because it, it seems there's certain traits in this which are from all witness accounts which all tie in the same and that's one of them yeah. the fear factor yeah. you know um uh, struck with this I, I i put my hand up exactly the same i remember going through um uh a wood not very far away. I was going through, it was quite a heavily dense, thick wood. And a tree was in my path on across the path. It had yeah. been pulled up. The root, it had been pulled up. There was, you could see the roots. And it was just laying in front of the path. I've been down there before and I haven't seen that before, that tree. At the same time when I stopped with the dogs, had the dog leaves with me, and um, heard this, this knocking, this banging. You know, like yeah, uh, tree, tree knocking, tree knocking. Yeah. yeah. Turned around, luckily got the camera on it as well. And you can see that there's two of these dog men type threes, the big standy uppy ones looking uh, from about 150 yards back. So they, what they were hoping to do is that it would stop. The tree would stop my passage. Yeah. I'd have to come back their way, but this fear gripped me. I'm not going up that way. I'm no. not going anywhere near them. I'm not going anywhere near them. So I picked up the dogs, both of them. Luckily, they're only little Jack Russells. One's part yeah. of the chihuahua. Picked them up, 
He was snarling. Get off, mate. Get off. Get anyway, off. I want to go um, get it. I'm and I'm gonna go the there. I want to get the dog men. I want to get it. I'm a chihuahua. I'll take anything on. No, um, honestly, they would do that. They are, they are renowned <laughs> for having that sort of... <laughs> Oh, you know what? Honestly, he's such an idiot. He would. He, he would. would Russell doesn't yeah. take anything on. Doberman, yeah. you name it. Straight yeah, down. Yeah. Uh, come on, then. Don't worry. Like, uh, what do you want some, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. So I picked him up. I took him because it was like uh, I had to come off the path and it was brambly. So they're, they're pretty short. It's brambly. I don't want them getting all fawned, you know, fawns going in. So I picked him up. I went across. I went across and around the tree and scarpered quickly. Yeah, you know, put them down the ground to scarper quickly. But that fear, that fear that is palpable, that feeling of fear, I froze. Lucky I had the camera on, and once again, I caught those figures moving on that film. Brilliant. So, you know, yeah, but you it are is. completely right. Is they feed off it, they feed yeah, they off do. it. I had an experience, mm. I tell you, I don't know how long we've got, but I had an experience when I had my dog. Um, I used to cross over it, my, the road here and there's um, go straight into countryside, really. Um, I used to dread it at night time when you've got your headlamp on and it's really dark behind you, then, you know. But and we went down to there's um, a railway bridge and we go down and you go into a field. And I had a feeling that was a big cat there. And I heard, I'm sure I heard, like, not a meow, obviously, like, you know, or whatever that mate. And uh, I thought, I don't like this feeling. We've got to go, Gus. So off we went, trotted up. Now, a couple of people, I won't mention their names because I haven't asked permission, but they went down there for a walk. They used to have a dog many moons ago. And they walked down this field and something ran past them. And they felt oh. the fur or, or whatever it was. I mean, that could have been a pig dog man for all we know because it ran past them. Whatever it was, they couldn't see it because it was dark. I couldn't see, I couldn't see a big cat. At the time, I thought it was a big cat. I mean, this is ages and ages ago because my dog's been gone a little while, you know, well over a year, and he was well before that because he was 13 when he passed. So, but it, it, there was something there for me. I know that, and it was on top of the railway um, that I I felt it, and he came with me. Then he would he would have he would have um, guarded me had he thought there was something there that was going to hurt me. I know that, but they went and they could feel something go past them definitely. Do you yeah. know you're saying that I was talking to a chap before I came on this, I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, he uh, has said that um, uh, there's been a spate of like in the green belt areas, yeah. you know, the areas between going past towns and cities between big woods and forests. Um, f sometimes farmland, sometimes open common land, you know, places like that. There's been a spate of like sightings of of these not exactly dog men but very fast entity type things that just flash by yeah. very quickly yeah. your peripheral will just flash by yeah. it's been a spate of this going on in the greenbelt area you know by 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 um uh like uh uh housing estates parks playing fields things like that very you fast ask, moving ask your friend if it's if it's new housing because i do wonder sometimes if it's not entities from the land you know because um don't forget you know we're building a more ever building on land aren't we ask your friend if he knows whether it's um like new housing estates or whether it's ones that have been there for donkeys because sometimes okay. when they build on this land these things are not happy. And and when you say about peripheral as well, it's always going to be a peripheral. A lot of the time it's your peripheral. I don't Why? like I, if I'm if I'm talking to spirit or anything like that, I don't like anything coming at me from here. I want to see them there. You know, if you want to talk to me, don't do it here because I've had issues with things jumping up and I just don't like it. You know, uh, but generally most of people, including myself, I'm just the same, we tend to see a lot of peripheral. And that then you look you're talking I would imagine more shadow form than physical because it's easy for them that way. What, right. So why do you think they, why, why do you think it is always seems to be in the peripheral? Why would you say that? Why because, do you think? Um, you know, There's no right say, answer, no wrong. There's no right there's or no wrong. No wrong or right. No, for me, peripheral, um, it's like a thing. I, I do partly wonder whether it stems back from us being in the caves, really, because... Back then, you had to watch every single angle, didn't you? 
you know, because yeah. you were going to get killed by a bloody whatever it was that was running around if you weren't careful. And I just wonder if it's our it's still we've we still got it, and whether these things are testing sometimes whether we've actually got that ability. Because a lot of yeah. people, and also they're testing if you're the sort of people that do see out your peripheral. Because many people walk past and they don't notice anything that's not right in front of them. But many of us in this field, or, you know, generally that are sort of people, or, you know, just people that are not like the square peg in the round hole sort of people, we would see yeah. the things out of our peripheral because we notice that sort of thing. That's what yeah. I think. I uh, no, I think I I I think you are right. And funny enough, when it's twilight or or getting dark, we tend to see more out of our peripheral than we yeah. do face on anyway. Yeah. Um. And I do you know I do you get this where you know when you're in the presence of like an entity or you know mm. so, uh, not necessarily a cryptid, um, uh, just an entity, maybe a even a ghosty entity. You can't. I get a sense that I'm being watched. I know. I'm oh, being definitely, watched. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's you get Stone that Age. Well. That is. That's your Stone Age thing coming in. Because don't forget, people don't realise, right? The Stone Age or whatever we're talking way back. <laughs> our ancestry would have known about spirit. They would have had shamans. That you know, these things have always been there. They've always been there. I know for a fact they have. They just always have, and that's it. You know, you look at shamanic on that, that's been going on for donkey's years. So the older ways, as in, you know, on about pagans earlier, everything, all these are the older ways. So that, you, you know, you knew when you were being watched. Yeah. You know, had it's you been thing. out hunting, you'd have known, wouldn't you? Well, it's a thing, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. a proven thing. It's called, it's called, it's called something. It's called uh, scopa sepia. Oh, and what it is, word. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Go it's because the tea. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Having the char it's, it's like, just sends me a bit funny. Yeah. It, um, what it is, it's uh in the um in the army when they when they like especially in the special forces, they um uh, if you're going to uh, um kind of um. Uh, jump on the enemy if you like if the mm. enemy is like kind of walking in front of you and you're hiding in the jungle in the yeah. bushes trees you're taught not to look at them you're taught to look at the ground because if you look at them they will sense that you're yes. looking at yeah and they'll look and see yeah. you yeah. so if you look down like when you're playing hide and seek with a friend yeah yeah That's and you look down yeah yes yeah, good for it's something in us which knows when we're being watched yes Something because that is you in, could be in a, You could be in a supermarket and you feel somebody's watching you, and yeah. I bet you nine times out of ten, you put your you look around, and somebody is. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. No, we know for sure. that, you know, and that's come from way back. I'll tell you a story yeah. about the army. There was, I, I, I told a friend about it. It's about a sharpshooter in America. Okay. He got, he got really, really, uh, he got whatever he got because he was so he had to go they, they thought he wouldn't survive it he had to go over to enemy lines i think i'm not sure whether it was um oh during the vietnam or something like that or even like korea or something like that and he had to go over to enemy lines and he had to kill this person that was really high up and the, he got there it's amazing he, he killed a Viet Cong. he did kill, kill a woman who was a, who was doing horrific things from way back he heard one noise and he got it straight got it straight in the eye through the scope he was that good oh, and he had to go over into this place and he had to crawl across this field and a snake was right by him and he got right up he killed the person and he managed to get back out and this snake was right by him he just literally inched along all this time and took him out amazing what? you see yeah that was way back though in the uh, you know years ago but yeah Damn. So he obviously knew not to look at them didn't he yeah didn't he yeah blimey Wally. Yeah. So another thing, uh, when you messaged me, you you messaged me about uh, another entity called the Boggart. Oh God, what? God, yeah. What a was bogget. one of those? A Boggart hmm. is in the Fey. Now I, I, I think people thought I was in a group actually, a pagan group at, um, at the time, and we sort of just well, we we all fell out anyway. But basically, a Boggart is is nasty. It's a nasty little. Um, it, it, I don't know if you've ever watched Labyrinth. Have you ever watched that? Yeah, I love it. Right. Oh, David you know Bowie, isn't lovely it? One? He's the lovely one, he is. But it would be a not a very nice version of him, is how I put it. And I had one in the garden. Nasty little buggers. Because I, I'm with the Fae. I've, I've always had the Fae around. I used to give them little things, and a shaman told me not to do it because you're enticing them in the house. They don't belong in the house. And this thing came in my house acting as though he was something else. 
and I had to remove it. I had to say the Lord's Prayer to get him out because he was attacking my grandson. He's not very nice. Anyway, so uh, uh, he was outside and he charged me and he cut my bloody leg. I felt it. I thought, you little... So he cut hang on hang on he said but well, he, he cut what off he, what? Cut, he, he sort of not let he, he, he cut, cut or cut my leg he, he was running towards me and he got my leg now you, you leg? either believe in the fae or you don't you know some people yeah. do so, and i know they're there my god they've been there centuries and this is just another version of a uh, earth spirit but in and then they are not nice they are tricksters they're the tricksters of the they'd be like low keys of the demonic area that th these would be the tricksters of the earth then the earth spirits okay okay i mean i've walked all the woods around here and they've been absolutely full of them and i've tried to take photographs because i was looking through them the other day on my phone so i still got them on my phone and you can't see them but i knew i could see them because i knew they were there but if i the photographs well, don't show them where, where do they fall where do they fall in the lineage of fairies fae they're not and they're boggart. not they're not fae a boggart is <sighs> I'm trying to think of that other film. There was another film brought out where the the girl, her father had got a book and he got he went into the fair, fairy realm. She just thought he disappeared. And then she was, I don't know how she's brought up by relatives. And they had to sprinkle the salt around to stop these horrible things from coming in. That's like a boggart. If you got the labyrinth and you made him evil then, the lovely one, the little elfy person, that's yeah. what one would be. That To me, that's what they look like. You know, um, like to me, demons look like Gollum in my mind. That's what I see like demonics looking like. This thing is a earthbound spirit. It's a, it's an earth energy. And it's just one of the one of the realms, like this fairy realms. Not all fairies are good. Some are, some aren't. You know, you've got negative and positive of everything. You know, you've got negative, you've got negative and po positive of Buddhists and bloody, you know, all sorts of people. You've always got to have yeah. negative and positive. You've got to, because otherwise it doesn't work. And the yeah. bogger is a nasty little um, critter, basically. A bit like the critters, you know, the film Critters. <laughs> that yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. But in more of a, um, more of a, not elf. It's bigger than an elf. You know, it's, it's got quite a lot of energy. You can pack a punch. Um, but they can get inside you because uh, this is really scary. Right? I was in my house and yeah. my grandson ran past and the shadow on the wall was not my grandson. Let's put it that way. And he started to go nuts. And we, I had to say the Lord's Prayer a couple of times to get him out. And I really had to fight to get him out of this house because they'll trick you into thinking that there's something else, like a house elf or whatever else. And he tricked me. And I thought, you little bugger, that's it. Now <laughs> you've had it. Now you've really upset me. Just you're going out. And then I kicked it yeah. out of my garden, you know, because my garden is another part of my my space, so they're not welcome at all. Yeah. Nothing like that is. What, what do you think it? What do you think it uh, means to do by getting in the house? Does it mean to like? Cause is it, is it cause chaos? Because they're tricksters. Cause... Because I know, oh, I forget which one it is now. I think there's one Fay where if you feed it, it will, it will. If you feed it, will give it food. Um, I could be completely wrong on this. It will actually help you do jobs around the house if you feed that's it. That's a house elf. That was house that's elf. what I thought I was inviting in. Actually, it was sorry, Dan, the cat. Um, it was a how that would be a house elf, and I needed. I felt as though I needed that sort of energy around me, and was tricked by Boggart. Now, I was uh, talking to friends at the time and said about this bloody bogger, and they just, you could tell that it was beyond them. Because it's deep stuff we're talking here. We're not talking everyday stuff to most people, you know. You either believe it or you don't, and I don't lie. <laughs> I can tell you, I do not lie. No, well, I, I, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a quick little, quick little thing. I've never told anyone before, ever. Right, always telling right. me a secret. He's not told anybody, Shh. Everybody. I know, yeah. and so, uh, uh, just between us, just between yeah, us. Okay, just between but, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> I went uh, in in Suffolk when I was living in Suffolk. Um, my, um, I went around this house, um, this 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 one day, and I was like uh, house sitting. Okay, uh, it, was, it was a council house, right? Um, and. Uh, uh, me and uh, my uh, partner at the time, uh, she was looking after a friend's baby. Okay, because right. a friend was going out, so we were babysitting. Right. Uh, I was like, kind of, I, I, I thought a screaming baby. I was like, oh no, no, no you could do that. <laughs> I, I, I was more the house sitting. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like <laughs> the house sitting. House sitting I'm just house sitting. I'm not babysitting. You can change that. And then, um, uh, but uh, bless it, it was lovely. Really. But anyway, um. 
so um anyway i went out for a fag i used to smoke then uh, uh like pop fags uh, i went out the back door uh and uh in this house had long garden longish gardens very square um, yeah and uh i was just standing under the canopy of the back porch if you like so uh because it was it was, it was um just spitting of rain and i was like there and i was like it was quite chilly and i was huddled up and i was like sort of fag going like that anyway my um kid uh my partner she put the uh, uh kiddie to sleep yeah in, in a yeah. nice way you know so it went off to bed it went off you know went, went to sleep and um uh and uh she came out and we were stood there all of a sudden i felt this thump uh, like something had punched my uh, top of my leg by my groin. Yeah. And, and it was so much so, such a hard punch, I, 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 I bent forward, you know, I, bent forward. I was like, oh my, what, what was that? And uh, I believe that was was a, a uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. And scratching at the door, nothing yeah. there, scratching at the door. Yeah. I was audible, both my partner at the time and myself heard that scratching, like something's coming, open up the door, nothing, nothing there. Did you ever ask the person whose house it was if they heard scratching? Uh, yes, they did. Yes, they, they did. Had, um, yeah. yeah, and they'd also were uh, the handle moving. Yeah, the Downs. I was, I was thinking of the Downs, actually, when I was talking to you earlier. I knew you had a connection to the Downs. You have got a connection to the Downs, haven't you? You're talking about the Downs area. Uh, no, this one, this this was Suffolk. This was Suffolk. Is there, this is was there downs um, down there or not? Uh, well, it's Fenland, a lot of yes, Fenland it, around yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah, a lot like of Fenland. That. Yeah, uh, quite um, quite boggy. Yeah, quite uh, black soil, boggy. Talking, um, did you say Suffolk? Yeah, Suffolk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got uh, Essex, where I'm now. Yeah. Suffolk. If I go, if I go north, Suffolk. No, that's not far away. And then you got Norfolk. Up that yes, side, right? Yeah, I get you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. see land. I mean, obviously, I mean, I know, <laughs> I know where you are because there's some friend there as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not stalking you, honestly. I'm really not. Romford, <laughs> blimey, and Riley, yeah, <laughs> Romford, that's not yeah. far. And yeah, she, uh, so I used to go on to the uh, M12, isn't it? Yeah, M12. Yeah, he's gone the M12. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got yeah, you got the A12, M11, yeah. M11 A12. Uh, A12 will take you up towards Colchester, yeah. Chelmsford, Colchester, Chelmsford, all that way, yeah. all the way up to Ipswich. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, all the way yeah. from the M25. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah, so that's, that's I think that's the only time that I've ever really uh, come across one, and it's actually it's impacted action. on me. Yeah, yeah, it hit me, impacted on me. But no, it was I there anyway. It. it was there. That I think but it's there on their land. The punch was like, I'm telling you, it really, yeah, really it bumped. I mean, I got scratched. I got physically scratched. I thought, you little, because I was, because what I do is my back door, mine's like a council house. My back door, I, I, I used to sit on the step that goes up to my back door because it's higher for my knees and stuck yeah. on that, you see. So I was going in, I was stood, and sometimes if I was a bit freaked out, I'd stand there next to the chair because I've had issues there in the past. That's another story. I've had a lot of stuff going on in this because I'm surrounded by it all the time anyway. It doesn't matter where I am. So, you know, it's going to be there. But yeah, I stood yeah. there and this thing palpably scratched my leg. I thought, you little... <laughs> you know, uh, and then when yeah. I saw that in here, I thought, that is going. And I literally saw myself physically pulling it. Now, when we say this, I, somebody could be stood next to me and wouldn't know what I'm doing. I didn't. I don't make it obvious. You know, you can't go around. Right. You know, no, doing that, but but they're there, and that's and they're they're not stupid. This is how I think these dogmen and things like this. They know what they know. It's like portals and things like that. They're there. They use a different. Um, it's very difficult to describe. You know, not everybody can see one. Then you know, when you see people go into woods and they see them, and then mm. the next person might not see them because that person isn't tuned in to see them. Somehow, it's something like that. They're in the ether. Mm. They're not always there in physical form. You know, you've heard people say like the um, the term, not the Terminator, what's Predator? You know, when they see that shimmering, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, very much like that. Very much like yeah. that. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. I saw, I've seen that. I've seen that gold shimmering silver yeah. thing. I, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, and sometimes uh, the tree I've... doesn't look big enough, does it, to support the weight either? 
No, I know. And you think, how could it be stood in that tree? <laughs> you know, how could yeah. it be there? This one was on the ground. This one. This oh, one's on right. the ground. This shimmering gold silver thing was on the ground and some deer were right by the side of it. One minute it wasn't there. I had a camera on the deer. Next minute it appeared and the deer were just staring at it. They didn't run. They were just staring at it. Like in because amazement. They can see shock. It. Yeah, animals yeah. can see. Yeah, and the camera picked it up. And the camera picked it up as well. You know, I that's got good at the camera. I was like, what the hell? I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. If you check out the, my YouTube and you'll see it. It's one of the first videos that I've got up oh, on there. Have a look at that then. Just, yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. Just, let me know what you think. And then yeah. it was this Bigfoot type creature coming out of the wood behind it, towards it, as if it was getting rid of it or going to get it. You know, because there is a thing about that, isn't there, about Bigfoot and Dogman? There is, yeah. On, you know, they don't know. Um, no. I've watched a lot in America. Um, I'm trying to think of the woods the two, the, with the two rivers in it. Oh, well, Land Between the Lakes. Yes, Land Between the Lakes. I've been watching a lot about that because that place fascinates me totally. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's I'd a love lot of to, dark there, you know. I'd love to go there. Yeah. Really would like to go I'd there. I'd love to go to America. I'm not mad keen on America. No, I'm not knocking America because my relatives are over there. I've got no mm. desire to do all the shopping and all that sort of thing. What I'd like to do is go out in the woods and check out whether there's bloody Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, because yeah. they've got obviously a massive amount of woodland that nobody has ever trodden and how can you say they're not there when no there's been many places where man hasn't even trod let's face it yeah yeah and there's places yeah. here where man hasn't trodden really they think that england's too small to have these things of course they're not no you know? no 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 uh, uh, no exactly and there's um uh you know i mean there's places like uh there's a forest near lake uh loch loman yeah i forget what it's called now but is that the big one that just, really big forest yeah that's it yeah Dang dense forest yeah and, and it, yeah and it's uh, a lot of it is like kind of um never been never been mapped internally because no. it's just so big and vast yeah. you know it hasn't been mapped internally um yeah so so with with your with your sightings you've had what has been has, have you ever had because i believe that these things tag people you yeah. know and i think that when you have one experience it leads on it opens a doorway so that you get other stuff that happens to you. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had anything um, else which you could say has been um, interacting with you, maybe on a regular basis? Um, well, spirit does all the time. I always talk to spirit, always. I mean, people think I talk to myself. Oh, you're always talking to yourself. I'm not. And I'm never lonely because I've always got spirit. So that's one thing that's always there. The, the dog man thing, yes, I've spoken to them. As I say, the female wasn't mad keen <laughs> because I was going to go on another thing with another person. I'll just put it out there like that. I don't want to mention any names. Um, and at the time, it was not a good time for me to do it. And I don't know, something stopped me. And I saw a picture. I thought, right, that's right not to go there. Um because like I was about to to them, it's like American Indians, you know, all these shapeshifters and things like that. You know, years ago, that's what they did. They did it. And something happened and it, it makes them fear. Again, fear. It's always this thing about fear. Now, I've had them, as I say, at the back of there, I've spoke, I've communicated with them since that time that I got freaked out. Hence why I don't fear. I only said to somebody the other day, I really have very little fear now because I've been through so much in life and mm. I could be out in the middle of the forest and I'll be fine. And she was just going, yeah, yeah, you know, I, you know, you shouldn't really need to mix. And I thought, well, I don't mean in the day. I mean, plonk me out there at night when most okay. people would be like, but then you've got to, you've got to use this then, haven't you? Because you can't yeah. see. Yeah. As human <laughs> beings, we cannot see, can we? Without, we haven't got that eye sight you can generally get there if you start building up gradually in the night time mm. but you're never gonna uh, have night sight are you no you're not no i talk me through talk me through um the lady dog man that uh you interact right, with right. how so did they, you interact what happened right well they, you know, were just... at the, they were at the end of the fence like i said to you before yeah and um I was getting so you went outside, you you left the I house, outside, you went outside. Yeah, outside yeah. in my usual sitting place, my little throne area. And they were there, I could sense them. So I, in my mind, and I know it's really freaky, this is, I wouldn't have transformed, but I was thinking, right, I could see myself getting like these nails. And I thought, I'm not going to put up with this. You're not going to freak me out. This is my house. 
you're there, you're not welcome here. This is my space, you don't come in. I've domed it, I've done as much protection as possible because when you do these things, you have to do anyway. And I knew the male was there, but she was a very dominant one, the female. Obviously, she at the end of the day, if they've got young, the female is going to be the dominant, isn't she, almost? Because she's got to, mm. he might go off to get food, yes, but she's got to be the one that's looking after the young. You know, it's just a thing. And I felt mm. that she um, she was quite dangerous, I felt. Not that I was scared of her, because I wasn't, and I wasn't going to be put up with it. And I wasn't moving either, because she was desperate to get me to move, and I wasn't going to shift. A bit like Deb in that respect. She's worked herself down her garden. I would have even sat right next to the fence. I, you know, I just wasn't going to put up with it. Uh, but this was quite, it, this was early morning, actually. This wasn't night time because I used to get it fairly early and just sit out there because it's nice before the traffic starts coming. And this was actually early morning that I could sense her. But she wasn't okay. in physical form. Nobody else would see her. You know, they don't just come in physical. People need to know that. The, this is why they're, they're not seen and then seen. Do you see what I mean? That's why they can creep right up on you and you don't know they're there because they're seen and not seen. But I could sense that, so I knew it was there. But if the people were in the garden, they wouldn't see it. Okay, right. So you went out into the garden. Yeah. You could sense you could sense yeah. that a dog male entity was at the yeah. bottom of the garden on the other side yeah. of the fence. Yeah. You could also sense it was female. Yeah, there was two, but one of them was female and she was the one in charge. She was the one in charge. Yeah. Okay. Could you sense you weren't gonna you weren't gonna you you were quite dogmatic. You were gonna dig <laughs> your heels in. Yeah. yeah. Say, look, you know, I oh know, pardon the oh pun. No, good one. Yeah, it was on purpose. It was on purpose. Yeah. But yeah. So <laughs> and, and and you decided, right, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to um uh dig my heels in and yeah. it's my garden. Yeah. Um, you're not going to impress upon me. You're not going to no. uh, 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 give me any of your fear and run no. me out of my own garden. No. What did they say? I also imagined myself turning into one, though. That's another thing I did. I could feel my nails growing. I could feel that's how that's how cross I had to get to make sure they knew that this is my area. Almost like I needed to go and pee around the edge. I wasn't going to because they'd really knock me up if I did that. But that's how I felt. I had to almost imagine my nails, my talons growing in order for them to grasp that this is my area, you're not messing with me. That's why I say to you, I do not fear them because that's what they want you to do. Don't ever fear. If you're going to do this thing, you can't be that scared because that as soon as they get a minuscule amount of fear, and that's when they will start following you because they it's working, isn't it? It's like saying, yeah. I'll use that battery source because that battery is going to work. But if they go to another battery and that's dead, they're not going to use that battery. So they go back to the source. So th th I haven't heard a lot since, but they do play right. cycles. I do believe that like Bigfoot, you know, when they say Bigfoot comes around and it moves and it comes in cycles. I do believe Dogman can be a bit like that. Yeah, I do. I do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as a matter of fact, I think uh, this year has been a very quiet year in particular. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very we're talking quiet year. Sort of last year, early this year and last year sort of time that I was sensing it. So yeah, this year has been really quiet. Funny year this mm. year anyway. It has been a funny year, yeah. yeah but um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, honestly, Tony, I'm, I'm like you. If if they're about, I do sense them. I do sense them. And yeah. this year has been very, very quiet, really. Yeah. On the whole, on the whole. Yeah. Um, um, one, one last thing I've got to ask you. With What's your, that? with your, with your, with your um, uh, astral projection. Right. Yeah. You obviously have got a gift. Right. I know yeah. that. I know. I that. know that. I'm not bragging. It's there. No. And that's it. You know. I'm absolutely 100 percent positive. You have yeah. got a gift. Interestingly, if you took it too far and you really concentrate it, mm. could you manifest into a dogman? Yes. Yeah. Great. That is that. <laughs> 